Hello everyone, welcome back to your second episode at Fujisan Jr.'s Weekly Recap. In this episode, I'll just be talking about what happened this week, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So this week started off horrendously. Um, Sunday night, I was sleeping, and then I got bit by this like white little insect, and then that caused a lot of pain in my calf, and... I just couldn't get any sleep that day. So on Monday when I woke up, I was just so exhausted. Went to school. You know, it's just like I didn't plan anything because the last couple of days, but I was just in pain and I just didn't feel like, you know, teaching at all, which sucks because it's the last couple of days. I'm not going to be spending much time with my students anymore. So I wish that I was feeling better, but no, I was just exhausted. Went home. Um, I was contemplating whether to skip Tuesday or not, but I decided to go because why not? So I pushed my way through on Tuesday. I was dead. Like by the end of the day, I was just feeling nauseous and I was like, I could have collapsed anytime to be honest. I was just too tired and I was starting to feel dull. You know, I was coughing and all that. So Wednesday, it was a half day. I took the day off, just rested the entire day, you know. I also had to get a personal check for my application for my new apartment where I will be living with one of my friends from college. So hopefully we get the apartment. We're still waiting for the decision or an approval, but hopefully they get back to us soon because I want to leave this place and move to my new apartment. But yeah, that happened Wednesday. So yeah, fingers crossed that we get good news. Thursday, we were supposed to have field day at our school, but because of the weather... It didn't rain, unfortunately, but because of the predicted rain that was going to happen on Thursday, uh, field day got canceled, so I didn't plan much. I just had, like, a fun day with the students, you know, didn't do much. And it was, like, you know, a chill day. I was feeling much better, but still kind of iffy. And I think the kids kind of picked it up because I was gone yesterday, but I heard good news from my subs. Um, they told me that my students were behaving really well and they had good third grade expectations, which made me very proud because that's the one thing that I've been working on throughout my entire first year, expected, expected behavior and respect because, you know, as they grow older, they're going to need to know that. And I'm glad that they showed that to my sub. So I was very pleased. Um, yeah. And then. What else did I do Thursday? On Thursday, we went to go, me and my friend went to go submit our application and then got dinner at this place in Hartford where it has a lot of food vendors. It's called Parkville Market, but I had Jamaican food. I, I actually recommended my food uh, friend to get the Jamaican food because it's like delicious. It's like it's like big portions for like the, uh, the price we get. So I asked my friend to get it too and it was delicious per usual so that was a good thursday um what else did i do i don't do much that day and then the weekends um i went to new york friday saturday i actually just came back today sunday like two hours ago i came back from new york and yeah, new york was awesome on um, friday i got there and just chilled and what so got some sleep because i was still feeling iffy unfortunately couldn't do much because it was right after work oh yeah friday teaching was uh we had before i moved on to new york um friday teaching was good as well it went well we had our classroom party our last classroom party um the parents got me gifts which was very nice of them i got like an amazon gift card i got my favorite snacks sour patches and doritos so that was very nice of them. I also got a green tea pack, which I'll be drinking for sure. I love green tea. Green tea is very good for you as well. So I recommend it if anyone hasn't tried green tea yet. The class party went well. I was really sad because that was the last one. Uh, one of my students is actually not coming back next week. Our last day is June 13th, but he's not going to be coming back. So it was my last time spending uh, time with him in my classroom. But you know, I told him that he's done a phenomenal job improved a lot and i'll see him next year in school you know he's gonna be in fourth grade but i'm a third grade teacher still so i'll see him in the hallway so it was a good time and then i went to new york 
Um, Saturday, I bought a baseball ticket for the Yankees and the Dodgers. As a Japanese, I'm a big fan of Otani, so I really wanted to go. So I purchased some tickets, and then I went on Saturday. It was 7:35 game, so I was kind of late, and I was not feeling well. So I wasn't gonna, I wasn't planning on staying the entire time. Got there, got myself a nice cold beer and hot dogs, which I've uploaded the vlog on YouTube. So go check that out. It was an awesome game. Um, the game before on Friday was 2-1 and there was not much action. So I was hoping that there would be more action on that day that I visited. And yeah, Otani didn't disappoint me. Actually, he kind of did. He only had one hit when I was there. One strikeout, um, one out like a fly ball. Aaron Judge, on the other hand, for the Yankees, he hit a home run. I got to witness that, so it was really cool. I was there until the seventh inning, the bottom of the seventh. Um, it was 4-2, and yeah, I saw a lot of action. You know, the crowd was electric. It was really cool. Like I've never been to like an American baseball game, so it was a great experience for me to go. And I wish I stayed the entire time actually because the eighth and ninth inning, the Dodgers just went off. They scored like it was like four two, and the total was like eleven three. So they scored like seven more runs. Which was crazy, and yeah, it was it was just it was just unfortunate timing. But you know, for my first game, it was really fun. The food was good. It was a little expensive per usual, but hey, if I'm at a baseball game, I gotta get some hot dogs and some beer. So it was a great time. And then Sunday, I had my quote unquote like model test shoot where I got to experience what it looks like or what it feels like to be a model and how their routine goes. So. That was at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I was not feeling well. To be honest, I was tired from the previous day from the baseball game. And I went there. There's no one. I was the first one, I guess. I was there. You know, the stats there. It's called Map Studio in New York City. If anyone is curious, I heard a lot of reviews about it, so I was kind of skeptic about the whole the process and everything, the test shoot. But you know, after reading the reviews, I just knew what I was supposed to do. I went there, you know, the staffs were just eating food. They're just not like welcoming as much, which was a bad first impression. And the camera guy that I had, some black guy, he was not welcoming as well. Like he didn't really give me emotion. He wasn't really excited to take the photo shoot. And what, what else? Yeah, so it was like, I had to try four different outfits, white t-shirt with jeans, sports outfit, my casual clothes, and then like a suit. So I mean, the photos itself turned out really nicely. Um, it was it was fun experiencing what it looks like, what it feels like to be an, a model. So that was a great experience. However, um, I wish that I got to keep some of the images without having to pay much. But you know, that's where the marketing and the sales lady came in. She was giving me these options for packages and portfolios, which I knew from the start because of the reviews that I've read on Reddit and Google. The cheapest one was like $19.99, which was crazy for just 22 photos. And then some other one was like $39.99 and then $59.99, which was just, just so ridiculous. Like, I don't know why people fall for it. But overall, no, the stats were real, like the makeup artist, she was really nice. Like she was like, you know, putting concealer on me. I mean, that's my first time. Try to set my hair, which I kind of didn't like, but <laughs> what can you say? Someone else doing it? No, I'm just not used to it, I guess. But the photos actually turned out really nice. I was looking at it. I would have kept two photos. They asked me, the sales lady asked me if I wanted two photos for $50. And honestly, I was kind of kind of feeling sick. So I was just kind of just not into it. So I just said, no, I'm getting my security or like my deposit refund hopefully soon. We'll see when they'll send that back to me. But yeah, I didn't have to pay anything. Just waiting for the refund. It was a great experience overall. Like I think it wasn't as professional as like normal model shoots will go, but as an experience for sure, it was really cool. I don't think it's for me, to be honest. I do have the height, not gonna lie, but I don't think it's for me. So yeah, that happened and then I just came back, you know, just waiting for laundry actually, cause I have a lot to do, but all the machines are taken. But yeah, that is pretty much my week. Um, next week is the final week for my school, so I'll give you more input and hopefully I get to move to my new apartment. So if you guys liked it, please like and subscribe. 
and I will see you guys next week. So peace out.